Let's explore some of the features that make ETHOS unique. As soon as you finish the welcome flow, you're greeted with a unique generative ETHOS wallpaper and simplistic home screen. Our native apps all live in the bottom tray, each with features that can only be utilized on ETHOS. If you haven't already, you'll first want to connect to Wi-Fi. The first question you might ask on an ETH-based mobile OS is where's my wallet address? You can find it in multiple places. In the settings down at the bottom, in about phone, in your personal contact under my phone, or in the wallet app. We'll come back to give you a tour of the wallet a little later. Now, let's explore our native apps. This is the Ethereum mainnet light node proxy. Choose from the Helios and Nimbus light clients to activate your own personal RPC, meaning that you have a private portal into the Ethereum network. The light node only downloads block headers from mainnet, so it's a quick way to submit transactions to the current state. You'll also be able to run your wallet transactions directly through this light node proxy, bringing a backup relayer to your mobile transactions. Now, the system wallet. This app is integral to the functioning of the OS and enables many unique use cases that cannot exist on Apple and Google OSs. The private key is stored in the secure enclave and deep integrations can be made with system services. As you can see here, we support all the main L2s and to change chain, click the chain pill and select the chain you'd like to use. I've seeded my wallet with a small amount of base ETH for this example, which I can then use to do transactions like sending, receiving, and swapping. I can also view my assets in a combined view and review my main net transactions. But the real magic comes when you can leverage the system wallet outside this wallet manager. Next, the Mint app. The Mint app was created to show the power of an integrated wallet and L2 tech. Select an image or take a photo, my lovely door in this example. Give it a title and description and mint. This is where the system wallet is so powerful. You'll see this pop up often when using ethos. This can be invoked in any app and shows the power of doing transactions within an app using the system wallet we just looked at. The mint looks like it succeeded and we can now view it on OpenSea. Next up is the 3 browser, named so because it's where you'll do a majority of your Web3 transactions. As a demo, let's do a swap on Uniswap. We've modified the 3 browser to inject the system wallet into your apps without app switching during transactions. This is inherently how Web3 should work on mobile and makes doing transactions on mobile MetaMask look archaic. If we want to swap, we just connect the wallet, select ETH, and swap to wrapped ETH. Now just accept the transaction. Boom, it's that easy. For most apps, using the three browser makes it seamless. No more app switching to get around the fees of Apple and Google. It just works. Finally, we have the Messenger app. This SMS app is not just a way to message your friends about DGen meme coins, but leverages the contacts and system wallet to bring an integrated experience that Apple and Google can't match. Let's add a contact first. I'm adding our lead developer, Mhas, and adding his ENS name as well. After adding, you can see we have the option to message him directly. I'll send him an SMS, but I'm also able to tip him for his great work on this OS, like so. The OS integration makes this a seamless experience so you don't even have to leave the app, and the SMS app recognizes what you're trying to do. There are also a range of other features you can discover within the app that make it easy to use. Our own app store is coming soon, but we also have the Google Play Store for all the Web 2 apps you use. As a fork of Graphene OS, we have a downloader that you can install the Google Play Store and use all your everyday apps on. Just click download in the store and accept the permissions when you get them. And last but certainly not least, we're always adding crypto features, like this generative wallpaper artwork from our UI designer, Ely. Spin a new wallpaper whenever you like, save it, and repeat. Thanks again for watching, and ping us if you have any questions.